Hi, my name is Matthias, uh, Ega Acoustics. Um, in the following minutes, we want to show you the main steps of installation rooms set. Um, as a reference, we have the 240 by 240 room, but actually all the basic mounting steps are similar to the other room types. So uh, let's go. This installation movie does possibly not show every detail. So we recommend to have our written guideline available. Mounting room set requires three installers. Even though most of single steps can be arranged by two people, there are a couple of scenarios where two additional helping hands are necessary. For mounting we need a couple of standard tools and we can find a detail list in our written guide. But at this stage we would like to pinpoint the so-called element lifting tool. This is specifically developed by us and definitely needs to be ordered before first installation. We deliver the goods on pallets protected by foil. For the first quality check, we remove foil carefully and handle elements and all components with care. Please inform us about obvious defects before mounting so we can react properly. After removing the foil, we unpack the pallet in order to check delivery's completeness as well as quality and detail. Bill of material helps us to control completeness. Are all listed elements and components on site? Are all profiles as well as glass and textile surfaces in perfect condition? By parking the elements, we protect them as well as on site walls and act with care. Packing material, for example foam pads, are perfect for protection. Especially glass elements need to be handled very carefully. We do not park them on their corners to avoid damages. For perfect orientation, our elements are labeled with two stickers. Stickers on bottom side describe element type and help us to match elements to bill of materials, as well as to technical drawing. Stickers on top side show interior and exterior direction. At first we lay out floor profiles. Mitre help us to find the right arrangement. Now we connect profiles with connecting plates and countersunk head screws. After connection we control rectangularity and make sure that both diagonal runs have the same length. As next we insert Basotech stripes and leveling plates. Per element we need two green leveling plates to get to zero level. In case of slight floor unevenness we can balance with the other colored plates. At last we mark all corners with tape. This helps us to control that the room remains at defined position during all further mounting steps. Now we can put up first textile element. We use clean gloves and the element lifter. The third person needs to hold it. The exact positioning on floor profile is quite important. We refer to our written guideline and its visuals for more details. Additionally, the technical drawing is giving us support to find the right order and arrangement. Before hanging in next element, we adjust the connectors. Distance to screw's center line is approximately 2.1 at textile and approximately 1.8 cm at glass elements. Next, we hang in second element. To ensure proper grab of rubber acoustic lip, we hang in slightly inclined, align it rectangular, snap the element in and pull it down. Resulting joint should be tight and connectors grab properly. Possibly we need to remove and adjust connector or rather its joint bolts. Up to the moment the elements create static, the third person secures. As soon as second element snapped in, we control flush and leveled alignment. This step we repeat with every additional element to ensure a perfect fit of the room, which affects acoustic as well as aesthetic performance. Afterwards we can hang in first glass element with the same procedure. 
As soon as back corner and right side is installed, we recommend a floor profile's overlap of approximately 5 mm. If necessary, this can be adjusted with the foot. Next, we place the V-dock and direct the cable through the outcut at floor profile, via the element's gap, up to the top. With tape, we can fix the cable inside the gap. Final mounting of V-dock will be done later. We install second corner element as well as left side of the room with the same procedure. Now we prepare wooden corner posts for mounting. Therefore, we apply the threads and screw in ball joints. The overlap of threads should be approximately 1.6, distance to ball joints center line approximately 1.3 cm. Now we can glue sealing tape into the gap and place the posts into the corners. Finally, we control flush alignment, inside dimension of front side and, if necessary, adjust the distance at one of the side wings. Since volume of sealing tapes is growing very fast, we proceed speedily. Therefore, we place short floor profile into the corner post and align it in order to hang in last glass element. We prepare the door frame in the same way as the corner posts. After application of connectors and sealing tape, we can hang in the frame and bolt it. Now we proceed with sealing installation and start with the rear element. This we apply to the room with an overlap of approximately 10 cm and repeat procedure with the second front element. Depending on room type, sealing consists of one, two or three sealing elements. We generally start with the rear element and move on to the front side. Next, we pull power cables of Technic element and V-Dock through corresponding outcuts at the ceiling, push ceiling elements together and control gaps as well as alignment. Now we can apply LED strips. We direct the cables through corresponding outcuts at the ceiling, align the magnetic discs and click LED strips into the gaps. After we have double-checked alignment and gaps, we can bolt the ceiling with corresponding screws. It is very important to use the correct screw type at textile and glass elements. As soon as ceiling is applied, we place the sheet metal box over the ventilation units and pull the cable through corresponding outcut. Metal boxes can be bolted with spec screws. Now we take the driver, or so-called CP, for electrification. Generally, connections are self-explanatory. In case, we can find detailed description in our written guideline. At next step, we install door leaf. Firstly, we apply the handle, which helps to carry the leaf. Now we can hang it into the frame, align and bolt it. We are very carefully with the first closing check to avoid any damages at the glass edges. Finally, we adjust automatic door seal via screwdriver. Now we can apply the maintenance-free radio switch. Generally, the user can individually choose its position. We recommend to place it at the same height as door handle, interfaced at the glass element next to the door. Finally, we do the final application of V-Dock. Therefore, we apply the L-bracket centrally to the element's gap and click in the dock. We are now finished with the mounting and ready for the final checkup. Are all LEDs running properly and can we dim the system? Is the ventilation running smoothly without any disturbing noises? And does the dimming work as well? Are all slots of V-Dock work properly? After successful system check, we vacuum mounting place clean all glass surfaces and arrange final quality check. At this stage, a kind advice, four eyes see more than two. In case we are happy with our mounting quality, we can arrange a technical introduction with the user and hand over the room. All single steps are described in detail in our written installation guideline. To check up details, we recommend to have it on site during installation.